So I want to talk about how I've implemented my markdown using Vim. So this is my markdown document and I've got it open in Vim. You see up here, Vi, Vim. And uh, <clears throat> this is my Vim RC. And so every time I save any markdown document, so it's an auto command. And whenever I save a markdown document, it runs this script, which is down here. And it runs it on this file as its argument. So that's how that works. And silent means no prompt. I don't want it to prompt me. I would just want it to work automatically. So if we go down and let's let's just put a bullet before assistencia. So I'm going to write it. And you'll see on the left side, it's going to update automatically. See, it just added a bullet there. Now I can go ahead and remove that, write it. It goes back again. So that's what's in my VimRC. I'll just close that. And uh, so here's my markdown document. And here is my script, the uh, script that is run from within my VimRC whenever I save it. So first I check to make sure there's an argument. This really isn't even that needed because I run it from within uh, Vim. And I get the file name that doesn't include the extension. Add that to a variable. And really this RM, also be really careful whenever you add RM to a script. That, that I've made that mistake before and it did not work out well a long time ago. Uh, so I was real careful. I approached that with fear and trembling, but it's really not needed because I'm pretty sure I could just do a, a single uh, redirect there, but it's fine. And so I'm using this program that I installed from the Debian repository called Markdown. And all it does is it outputs just the literal HTML. So it doesn't output the header and the end of the file stuff to make it a proper proper web page formatting and so um, that's what I've added here and so you use cat EOF and this has to be the same as here and I add in the title is the, the file name and I've got my CSS that I have here and then I use uh, the argument the um, the .md file is my argument here that's in my VimRC. And uh, so then I run it and it outputs right here. It's gonna output all of my HTML, just the pure HTML that would go in the body. And then I cat out the end of the document. And then I write all of that to the file name .htm. So it creates the HTML file. So that's run every time I save a markdown in Vim. Uh, well, and then this part is run where I list the windows and I silently grep for the title name. This is going to be, it's the, you know, the title name dash Mozilla Firefox. You see it right there. And if that fails, then I'll launch Firefox. I'll launch that file in Firefox. Um, and I don't switch to that window. I just, cause I don't want to switch over to it. And then after that page, is in focus. Um, I search for the same title and I send a keystroke to it, which is control R, which refreshes the page. So this is very nice. You can just, uh, I'm not gonna bother with italics up here. So just show you again one more time. So I'm gonna write this. As soon as I write it, it'll remove the italics. So this is my implementation and wasn't any need to install a plugin or anything like that. Perhaps other plugins have other features that this don't ha doesn't have, but this is all that I need. I'm pretty happy with it. And I just got done with this. So I'll probably end up adding a feature or two or a thing or two to it or fine tuning it. But this is a lot of fun and I'm excited to have this implemented.